The headline was probably enough to get under Donald Trump's skin. Trump Grill could be the worst restaurant in America, referring to the steak restaurant in the lobby of Trump Tower. The review was published late Wednesday in Vanity Fair. On the filet mignon, it reads, the steak slumped to the side over the potatoes like a dead body inside a T-boned minivan. And in describing the short rib burger, the reviewer wrote, it was molded into a sad little meat thing sitting in the center of a massive, rapidly staling brioche bun, hiding its shame under a slice of melted orange cheese. Along with it, woody batons called fries. Seemingly in response, Trump turned to his keyboard, hurling insults via Twitter at Vanity Fair's editor, Graydon Carter. The two men have done this dance for decades. Carter has covered Trump for more than 30 years, dating back to when he was the editor of the satirical magazine Spy, which often mocked Trump. It was 1988 when Carter first described Trump as a short-fingered vulgarian on the pages of Spy magazine. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? Listen to what Trump told the Washington Post following that debate where Marco Rubio mocked Trump's hands. Nobody other than, you know, James <laughs> Carter years ago used to use that as a, you know, a, but, but my hands are normal hands. Remember, Graydon Carter first mentioned Trump's hands 28 years ago. So the insult isn't something the president-elect has forgiven or forgotten. In fact, in November 2015, Carter shared in Vanity Fair that occasionally Trump sends him an envelope containing a photo of Trump's hand circled with a gold Sharpie pen, along with a note that reads, see, not so short, referring to his fingers. After Carter wrote about that, Trump tweeted, I have watched sloppy Graydon Carter fail in Close Spy magazine, and now I'm watching him fail at Vanity Fair magazine. He is a total loser. Trump called Carter a loser back in 2012, too. Dummy Graydon Carter doesn't like me too much. Great news. He is a real loser at Vanity Fair. Trump once even slammed Carter's New York City restaurant in a tweet. Dopey Graydon Carter, who is presiding over dying Vanity Fair magazine, is also presiding over dying Waverly Inn, worst food in city. And now on Vanity Fair's website, a brand new banner that reads, The magazine Trump doesn't want you to read. The saga continues.